Good afternoon. Sorry for the uh, the late start. It looks like everybody's on holiday. We're still uh, expecting um, Paul Smith. He's been caught in a bit of traffic. We missed his train and um, he's on his way here. Tony Quigley is on holiday, so he won't be here. But in the meantime, we've got uh, some of our young stars and uh, we're um, here to talk about a couple of shows we're putting together. The first one is uh, I'd like to talk about is Nathan Cleverly, who... Uh, be defending his Commonwealth title um, on the undercard of at the Odyssey, Odyssey Arena on Friday, October the 9th. Um, <coughs> excuse me, against a, an opponent uh, to be named. We're working on a couple of uh, opponents for him at the moment. Frank Warren, first of all, looking ahead to the uh, Echo Arena end of October, an exciting domestic fight, Kell Brook against Michael Jennings, uh, both fighting uh, for the British welterweight title. Um, first of all, thoughts on the champion, Kell Brook? Well, it's a tr it, I think it's a brilliant fight. You know, you've got it's a sort of a war of the roses. You've got your guy from Yorkshire, Yorkshire fighting a Lancashire guy. Um, I think it's a, a, a real quality fight. And Kell Brooks, I think, is a, is a fantastic young fighter. He's done everything that's been asked of him. He had a little bit of a break because uh, he had a problem with his hand. He's got that. He's over that now. Um, this is going to be his toughest fight to date. Michael Jennings has uh, he's fought for a world title with with uh, Cotto, um, and you know he's. Uh, Domestically, I think he's one of the best out there. So I think that, you know, for Kel, toughest fighter, if he come through this one, you know, he's, he's, he's really done well. Um, and you never know what's going to happen with Michael. Another exciting fight on the card, uh, a derby, Paul Smith against uh, Tony Quigley. Um, first of all, Paul Smith, he's here today. What's your thoughts on him? Well, Paul, I manage him as well as promote him. He's had, I think it's 28 fights now. And... Uh, you know, he's, he's had a lot of marking time fights. He's now got a challenge. He's got something to aim for. Tony Quigley's a, 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 you know, a decent champion. And uh, the, the good thing about it is the fights, they're both Liverpoolians. I think it's the biggest fight they've gone in Liverpool in the last 10, 12 years. Um, I think we'll sell out the uh, Echo Arena, or at least I hope we will. And the whole town, is, you know, the whole city, I should say, is buzzing, buzzing about it. Everybody's talking about the fight. I mean, it is a natural fight. And uh, I, I think that Paul can, can win the uh, title. 